I can't believe I didn't hit this at the top. Conrad, I'm mad at myself, but right now I want to tell you congratulations. Well, thank you, sir. The award, it. and I meant to do that off the top. Again, it's the afternoon. I'm in this afternoon drive. I'm more like Cassio morning drive. Seriously, winning the award, but it kind of goes to this part of our conversation. You are a hell of a businessman. Uh, I love that post you sent me about your teacher saying he was worried about you uh, being. A <laughs> uh, you may want to tell that story, but no, congrats, folks. We are talking to a multi-award winner, but uh, the the Melby Award is correct, right? The National Wrestling Hall of Fame, the Gordon Soley Award. How bad, Melby? So is I think yeah. this is the third time Gordon Soley was recipient number one. Yep. Jim Ross was recipient number two and somehow I'm number three and candidly, I don't belong there, but no, 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 hold on. We'll call you, which you always folks Conrad says he's so full of shit half the time. I don't know what I'm doing, Jeff. Oh, bullshit. Anyway, but you being, uh, you do know what you're doing, but no, the, the, the mortgage broker winning the Gordon Soley award doesn't doesn't jive off the surface, but when you pull the layer of the onion back and kind of look at this and go, okay, you've got raw, you've got SmackDown, you've got dynamite, you've got rampage. And I'm going to say this, you may be upset at me is, but Lance Russell was a voice in Memphis that the people trusted, right? You agree? Uh I would agree with that. They trust okay. Lance Russell, yes. In the Attitude Era, it's sports entertainment, shock jock, Sable's doing this, Stone Cold's doing that, Mick Foley's doing all this. Jim Ross was a voice they trusted. Yes, absolutely. It just, it just that that's the nature of the beast. Fast forward 20-something years, the business is so polished and so shiny and and, and we've got to get this ad read in here and you've got this event. I mean, it's the nature of the beast goes with what Michael Cole does, what Excalibur does. Uh, God bless Excalibur. He is unbelievably talented, like beyond talented. But, but at the end of the day, I don't say that there's a distrust, but you don't put that in the same vernacular with wrestling announcers anymore. You take Conrad Thompson, a podcaster that is – not afraid to get his guest and make him cry or <laughs> no, no, but you'll call the bullshit flag on Eric. You'll, right. you'll, you'll tell your father-in-law now, Rick, what you really mean by this. And Rick kind of wiggles his way out of his chair and does this and does that, you know, and then Mick, you pull Mick. I'm serious. They trust your voice. So congrats. I don't know where we were at the topic, but I'm pissed off that I didn't say it, but all kidding aside, partner, proud of you, man. Proud well, you. I, I appreciate it. I don't, uh, I don't think I deserve to be in a wrestling hall of fame, but shut up. when Mr. Here. Briscoe called, I said, well, Mr. Briscoe, I don't think I deserve to be there. And he goes, well, you were the top vote getter for the category. I said, well, I don't know what to say. He goes, you say yes, damn it. I was like, <laughs> okay. Well, yes, Mr. Briscoe, but I don't. I'm not trying to all shucks here, Jeff. It's just, it was unexpected. As you know, the son, son to call you expect to get happy for you. Happy. I did play my dad in checkers today though, at the office as we do from time to time. And, uh, I start whooping him pretty good. And he goes, man, I'm getting my ass kicked today. And I said, yeah, by a hall of famer too. <laughs> <laughs> Larry. He thought that was the funniest thing ever. That's good. 